The Maasai Steppe is a large semi-arid grassland that covers part of northern Tanzania, where the Maasai people, their livestock, and wildlife have coexisted for over a hundred years. In recent years, the effects of climate change, such as persistent droughts, have made Maasai communities vulnerable to sleeping sickness, a disease spread by the tsetse fly. My name is Paul Gwakisa, and my research is focused on helping the Maasai people better understand and prevent outbreaks of sleeping sickness in their communities. As a scientist from Tanzania, I wanted to help the Maasai people because sleeping sickness is a neglected disease with the potential to emerge and re-emerge. The disease can be transmitted to humans from animals. Farmers like Seyayi Lendrakash have witnessed firsthand the impact of the disease. Last year, more than 90% of his herd, comprising hundreds of cattle, were infected. The disease can lead to frequent cases of miscarriage and infertility, significant drops in milk production, and even death. Over a period of two years, we conducted multidisciplinary research in several Maasai villages in northern Tanzania. Our research began with a social study to gauge the Maasai people's knowledge, perceptions, and practices relevant to sleeping sickness. Questionnaires and focus group discussions were used for this purpose. We also set up traps to catch sesse flies in the Maasai areas and monitored fly species, sex, density, seasonality, as well as infection rates with parasites in the flies. We also sampled blood from the Maasai cattle to monitor infections because cattle also serve as reservoirs for human infective parasites. Our research resulted in several key findings. First, we found that the majority of Maasai knew that the tsetse fly transmits Nagana to their cattle, but were unaware that the fly also transmits sleeping sickness to humans. Second, we affirmed that vegetation affects the location of the tsetse fly. The tsetse flies were most abundant in Acacia comnifora bushlands and thickets, and least abundant in riverine areas. Third, the trypanosome parasites were most prevalent in cattle at the end of the wet season in June, implying seasonality of infections. We linked climate and environmental data with sleeping sickness and Nagana. This led to the development of a smartphone app that informs the Maasai about tsetse infested areas. This way, Maasai farmers can see where it is safe to take their cattle for grazing. We helped organize research uptake meetings with communities and stakeholders as research action workshops so we could have a two-way dialogue on community adaptation strategies. We also presented a policy brief to health and environment ministries in Tanzania, and a policy dialogue was jointly organized with the National Institute of Medical Research. This was attended by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Health and stakeholders from key related ministries, the World Health Organization, and the Food and Agriculture Organization. I am proud to be part of Tanzania's national efforts and Africa-wide initiatives to address health issues through an integrated approach that involves the health, environment, and agriculture sectors. Together, we are working to help achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals so no one is left behind. Yeah.